Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. It is Mike here again, the FPV Evil Monkey. And today I'm going to be showing you how to bind your Tyrannus QX7 or any Tyrannus that you have to a receiver. So uh, first thing you, what you want to do is uh, go ahead and create a model. Once you've got your model created in here, um, then what you're going to want to do is if you're already on the model, that's fine. Exit out to this screen. And then what we're going to do is I've created the model X, um, just like I had in the uh, the last video. So what we're going to do is we're going to go there, and then all we have to do is we're going to hit the page button, and we're going to get to the main menu of that one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use our wheel here, and we're going to scroll all the way down, past everything, until you get to right here. Okay, so always make sure that um, if you are going to be using um, just the standard radio, it's internal RF, uh, the mode, depending on what uh, particular receiver you have. So this is an XSR, it's the older version. Um, the XM Plus, um, the R XSR, those are all D16. Um, if you use something smaller like the XM light, which is just a single antenna, then it's going to be a D8. But usually on the package itself, it'll tell you what it is. It's going to be a D8 or a D16 um, usually. And then um, that's going to determine. So if you switch it here to say like off or you go to D8, then it only gives you eight channels or D16. So that's basically what you want to do. Now, <clears throat> depending on how many models you already have, in your system you may need to change the rx number so i'm just going to go up way high to one i haven't bound to before to like number 40 and then so next what you're going to do is you're going to use the wheel and you're going to go to where it says bind and you're going to hear in a second here it's going to ask you now if you have telemetry through your receiver you can pick it this particular one i'm just going to tell it no telemetry this is an old drone that i don't fly anymore it's just for uh, purposes to show you guys so I'm just gonna click that and you hear that chime that means it's in bind mode so next what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna bring my drone over here for you alright guys so the next step is you're going to want to power on your drone so okay and if you will notice right down here it's flashing red at the moment, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna unplug it and I was just showing you. So while it's unplugged, what we're gonna do is we need to hold down that little bind button right there. So I'm gonna try and use my hex driver here so you guys can see what I'm doing while I'm doing it. Okay, so I'm holding down the hex driver and now I'm gonna go ahead and power on the drone. Now what's going to happen is in about just a few seconds it's going to flash red, but it's also going to flash green and you'll see that, so hold on. There we go. Okay, so you see the, uh, the red light is flashing and then there is a green light next to it right there. So. That should mean that it's bound to the trans. So now what you want to do is go back to your transmitter and then hit the exit button, just like that. It'll stop. And now go ahead and unplug your drone. So let me do that. Okay. And now go ahead and replug it back in. And you'll notice on the radio, you just heard it say telemetry recovered. <clears throat> and you'll see now that red light is now a green light. So that means we have successfully bound our drone to our radio. And that's it. That's all it takes. It's about a two-minute process. Um, and this is the same process basically um, for most of the FR Sky receivers. There's usually some kind of bind button on them that you push. Sometimes it's a really small button. Um, and you have to use a hex driver to get to it. Sometimes then they're in a really awkward, weird spot. So sometimes I'll have to have somebody um, plug in the battery while I'm binding at the same time. So there's just different ways to do it. But that's basically the same way you do it pretty much across 
almost like 80 to 90 percent of all the fr sky receivers out there so guys if you enjoyed this video on how to bind your fr sky receiver to your fr sky radio please hit the thumbs up button for me guys and if you like my video if you like my tutorials go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button down there below for me i would very much appreciate that and thank you guys for watching my videos as always in the meantime while you're waiting for my next video Let's keep our drones up in the air, flying high. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day.